Welcome everyone to another episode of Karen's Corner. Today we're going to do something just a little bit different. We are going to read a chapter book and it is one of the new ones from the many new books that we have here at the St. Mary's Public Library. This book is a new one in a series and it's called Clack Class Pet Squad and the title is Journey to the Center of Town and it's a good book. Every school needs a little help now and then, especially PS1000. Sure, just like your school, PS1000 has teachers, a principal, and the school's maintenance crew who all keep everything running smoothly, but they don't do it alone. Who do you think makes sure everyone gets back on the bus after a class trip? Who doesn't let the scenery in the school play accidentally fall over? Who fights off a gang of rampaging squirrels trying to steal chocolate pudding cups from the cafeteria for tomorrow's lunch. A class pet squad, that's who. Chapter one. It was a typical day at PS 1000. Max listened to the students give their show and tell presentations and learned all about seashells, a bag of dead bugs, a bottle cap, and a marble Hoyt Sherman horn claimed his little brother swallowed last week. The final presentation was given by Ben McGillicuddy. He stood in front of the class and held up his favorite toy, Shark Man. Ben explained why, even though it had some teeth marks on it from his dog Brutus, Shark Man was the absolute best toy he ever had, even better than his bike, the remote control car that his mother still wouldn't let him play with ever since he broke the lamp with it. Even though it was an accident, or the rocket launcher his uncle got him that his father said he could play with when he got a little older. Then he told the story about how while on a family road trip, he accidentally left Shark Man at a rest stop, but only realized it after they'd been driving for an hour. His father drove all the way back to get him. Shark Man had not been on a vacation since. One of the kids asked why he was the best toy he ever had. Because he's cool, Ben replied. The class nodded in agreement. Sharkman was pretty cool. Every night before I go to bed, Ben explained as the toy was passed around, I line, him, I line up all my action figures on the shelf in my room. Another kid raised a hand and asked why he did that. I won't be able to sleep unless they're all there, Ben explained. Max stopped running on his wheel. He understood how important Shark Man was to Ben. Max wanted everything in order before bunking down for the night too. Max's running wheel needed to be oiled, his water bottle needed to be filled, and his favorite toy needed to be in its proper place. Just then, the last bell rang and the day was over for the students, but Max had just begun. Chapter two. The classrooms were empty and quiet. The students, teacher, and maintenance crew were finally gone for the day. It was time for Max to make his usual rounds, checking that the classrooms were in tip-top shape. The last thing he did before moving on to the cafeteria inspection was check the cubbies. As Max marched up to the wall, wall of cubbies, he saw something. He climbed up and peeked. It was Sharkman. Ben McGillicuddy accidentally left Sharkman at school. Then Max remembered that Ben couldn't fall asleep unless Sharkman was lined up on his shelf with the rest of his action figures. Max knew what he had to do. He sprang into action. Class Pat Squad, we have a code red to headquarters immediately. What's a code red, Max? Suzu asked as she hopped into the room with Julius, Rhonda, and the maestros a few seconds later. Code red means for an emergency situation, Max explained. I tell you that every time. Well, why don't you just say that, Max? Suzu asked. Max smacked his forehead and rolled his eyes. Then he climbed up on the teacher's desk as the rest gathered around. What's the emergency, Max? Rhonda asked. This, Max replies as he held up shark men over his head. Ooh, he's kind of scary looking, Rhonda shuddered. Suzu thought he needed some glitter. This is Ben McKillicuddy's favorite toy, Max, Max announced. 
and he can't get to sleep unless it's on the shelf in his room. So? Julius asked. So? Max spat. So this toy is going to be on that kid's shelf before he turns off his light tonight. It would be quite impossible to get that toy all the way to Ben's house, Julius stated. And it would be awfully scary to go outside after dark, said Rhonda. Oh, it would be fun, Susu squealed. We're going on an adventure, yay! Susu cheered, hopping up and down, yippee! This is not an adventure, Max shouted. It's a dangerous mission. Julius slowly scratched his head. Well, why couldn't he just bring it home tomorrow? He asked. No student in PS 1000 is not going to get a full night's sleep when class pet squad is on the job, Max said. Not on my watch anyway. Rhonda couldn't imagine losing something so important, like the green rock and the plastic palm tree in her tank. Julius understood that Ben needed all his toys to be neatly lined up before going to sleep. So he tried to think of a way to solve this, like a problem or a math equation. Okay, everybody, let's come up with a way to get Sharpman back to Ben McKillicuddy, Max ordered. I've got it, Max shouted. We're going to deliver it right to his bedroom and we're going to need a vehicle. Oh, not to worry, said Joe. We're on it, said Shirley. Harry nodded. Julius paced back and forth, saying, hmm. They knew Julius was thinking because he always paced and said, hmm, when he was thinking. This vehicle needs to be large enough for all of us, as well as shark men, but be something that no one will notice, Julius finally said. How will we do that? asked Joe. That's your problem, Max said evenly. The Max doled out jobs to the rest of the squad Rhonda was to find Ben's address, print out a map of the neighborhood, and figure out the quickest route there. Julius was to make a list of everything they needed, both for the journey and to get them into Ben's bedroom. The maestros were to help gather materials and build everything. Hey, what about me? asked Suzu. What do I do? Just stay out of trouble, replied Max. And that's all I'm going to read for today. So if you want to find out what happens, make sure you come to the St. Mary's Public Library and get the latest book we have. Thank you very much. See you next time.